breakfast puppies? This podcast contains adult language and content and is meant for mature audiences. Listener discretion is advised. You're listening to the Glitter Boys Radical. All right, you know the rules. 3D6 down the line. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you've, uh, anyway, Palladium. I'll take that. If you are unfamiliar with Palladium, there are the eight stats. You might want to write them down if you haven't already. You've got IQ. You've got ME. You've got MA. Those are mental endurance and mental affinity. Then you have PS. Physical strength. Uh, PP for what I just did. Uh, PE for physical endurance in that class. We all hated in high school. PB goes great with J, uh, but it's physical beauty. And then finally, SPD for speed. That's a lot. Yeah. Eight stats. What's the PP? Because you made a joke and I actually Uh, Physical prowess. Okay, great. It's like like dexterity. dexterity. Cool. Uh, Dear listener, if you haven't figured out, we're making role-playing game characters. Rolling them up live, on the fly, for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and other strangeness. So just 3D6, add them up, and then go down the line? Yeah. Okay. Do we have to pick that order? Is that what's going on? Or no? R- Roll them down the line. Oh, See okay. what you get. All right. We'll keep it old school. All right. All right. That's that's pretty good roll. There you go. Yeah. Now. <laughs> I'm terrible at rolling stats. I never roll good stats. Yep. There we go. I'm average across the board. Yeah, that's not great. My physical strength is 16. What about 46? Oh, wait, drop the wait, my wait, physical wait. prowess is 6. Oh, wait. Check it out. <laughs> This doesn't say to do it in lo- in order. So uh, put them where you want them. It's too late now. Put them where you want them. I'm committed. I'm, I'm committed to the dice, to dice Christ. Oh, you know, this is a good question here. You know, we've been talking Ninja Turtles and, and some of us have been drinking, mm-hmm. myself especially, and talking about making characters and where we're going to go with this. We actually have some options of what we want to play. Do we just want to make straight up base Ninja Turtle characters? No, or do no, I no. Need to wait, wait, wait. After the bomb, second edition. No, I think we should play this. But mm. I, but we, uh, you mean like form a team? Oh yeah, start at third level. Absolutely. Oh well, if you form a team, then you're all gonna. You don't. You don't start at third level, but your skills do. Kind of right. thing. If you form a team, then you're all the same animal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do we want to do that? Or Aardvarks. Do- <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I say Aardvarks. I thought you were going to be the uh, the elephant who never forgets. <laughs> no, because that's, 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 that's like a single shot thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty easy. Are you? We know. <laughs> yeah. On the record. <laughs> that's all there is to that. <laughs> that's a, yeah. um, I am the ugliest motherfucker in the world. So Aardvark fits. Okay. <laughs> Do we want to be Aardvarks? All right, let's be. I don't know enough about Aardvarks to play aged, an aardvark. aged, aged adult Aardvark. aardvark. Uh, no, Aardvark needs to be last. So we have. Oh, we got Aardvarks. They're in the book. <laughs> agent, special agent, Aardvark power. <laughs> I don't know. What's another word for mutant that starts with A? Ooh, or, um, or something about them being different or changed? Hmm. Abomination. Oh, that's <laughs> alopecia. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're what? not going with that. Abominate, uh, abomination, aardvark adults. Abnormal. Adolescent. We, we gotta get adolescent. Yeah, yeah. Adolescent. Yeah. Adolescent. Adolescent's gotta yeah. be in there. Okay. Adole- yeah. Adolescent. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> adolescent. Adolescent. Abomination. <laughs> Abnormal, adolescent, hey, abnormal. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got an idea. And what's her fighting style? I know, I know. Aardvark <laughs> was just thrown out there. Okay, but we could randomly roll this. Do we want to? Ra- that we- actually sounds more my Come style. On. That sounds great. Yeah. Who wants to roll it? Okay. The first roll. There's going to be multiple rolls here. Okay. Who wants to roll the first one? Uh, we'll what, take what turns. Go ahead. Okay. We'll take go this. ahead, Matthew. You're going to get the dice. All right. <laughs> what are you looking for? Uh. They're all sectioned into dice them. size. So no. I think the D10s might be at the bottom. There's no D10s, dude. No, there are. Oh, down here, down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down here, they're just mixed with sixes. No, whoever did that did it wrong. <laughs> they should all be sectioned by uh, dice size. So if there's some D6s in the D10 thing, get them out of there and put them at D6 tray, goddammit. 
So this is um, down, Grandpa. <laughs> this is the tens. This is the ones. Okay. Okay. What are we needing? Oh, and uh, Bassam, there actually are some of the twelve sided d sixes in there too. I I love the twelve sided d sixes. Yeah. I see that you're using them. They're quite lovely. Roll percentile. Tell me what you get. Ninety. Ninety. Well, we might get aardvark after all. Ninety yes, is zoo animals. Okay. okay. Roll it again. The determined type of animal. Uh, same purples ones. Uh, 57. 57 elephant. Okay. okay. Well, I guess that's a thing. Are we on another? Or no? Are we diminutive? That's it. That's, that's it. it? Oh, wait, no. Cause of mutation. All right. All okay, right. Roll. Purple is 10s. Yeah. Uh, 10. 10. Uh, random mutation. Okay. Oh, for so that's example. Back again. Uh, yeah. There we go. And now roll on wild animal education table. Okay. Roll it again. 91. Ooh, character goes public and is you all y'all are public and educated at a major university. <laughs> okay. We're, we're we're wise elephants. Hold on. So we're elephant. Hold on. We gotta write this down. We gotta take notes. <laughs> elephants who people know about. Who, Publicly who educated. Are public. In order so in order to use the team character rules, you must declare your intention to be a group before you roll up. Um yeah. we, sure, why not? All the team character players decide that they will create their characters. They must all get the same animal, same background. And you must spend your bio energy points in exactly the same abilities, growth levels, attributes. Yeah, so we're so wait, wait, wait. We are pretentious preppy pachyderms from oh. Portland. <laughs> I don't know where we're no, going. That's with it. This that's one. it. From Pittsburgh. <laughs> Portland. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Pretentious. Yeah. Who go to PCC. Yeah. Pretentious pachyderms yeah. at PCC. Are we Portland. really going with that? Oh my God. From we Portland is potent. perfect. Yeah. Portentious. Right. What, what's our, what's our what's our age? Uh, what's our prepubescent? Oh. Pre prepubescent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god! It's gonna be kids. Prepubescent. All right, 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 right. We're we're all like really smart, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So that's why uh, we're we're going to college. Oh my god! I but think, it is a community college. I think you're also all paralegals. <laughs> no, that guy's taking it too far. Okay. <laughs> Who's gonna hire? Prepubescent anything to be a paralegal. <laughs> Is there another P for age? Public defenders. I mean, um, but, um, it's not prepubescent. For age. What are, prepubescent what are, would be weird. What do we have for mutant? Post pubescent. <laughs> <laughs> How about just pubescent? <laughs> Just all that the, almost makes it weirder. I don't know why weirder. it does, but it does. It really is. It's like a very particular moment. Yeah. Oh, we, we've reached yeah. pubescence. <laughs> it's just wrong. We all wake up. I really like this, Mike. Can, I, I'm going to need the link because we're. I'm bringing yeah. one home with yeah, me. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Um, Pornographic. Uh, oh, par- parental. You're all we're parents. all parents. Yeah. What if we have like an adopted kid we're between the three aged. of us? Oh my god, <laughs> my three dads. My, yeah, my three dads. <laughs> we're all mute now. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Parental. Okay, parental. <laughs> pretentious packaging at PSU. <laughs> I love it. Is, is pretentious standing in for mutant? Uh, I I mean, yeah, I think the fact that we're pachyderms it kind of means that we're mutants. You're all mutant elephants. So far, I got... Is there, pro- is there anything like sumo wrestling that starts with a P? Can you give me weapon forms. What if we're from Pyongyang? I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 um, 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 uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Parental what, what? pretentious pachyderms. It works. Po- not police. Piece. No, not police. Uh, weapon forms. Um... Mm. Mm. That's good. P P weapon form polygamous. <laughs> Instead of a parental, with the power of polygamy. <laughs> Instead of a parental, could we be post humorous? And then you, we can you just can't, fuck you off could right be now. Post modern. <laughs> you could be post modern if you all drive Priuses. <laughs> oh. We're gonna take this. No, as that's unpretentious. That's unpretentious. So, so, um. <laughs> We're just going to be here for the episode. <laughs> no, 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 wait. Yeah, all right, no, like, let's call, we have, we, oh, okay, we are, but, okay, let's forget about alliteration for a second. No, 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 I think, I, I, I was not being snarky, I think oh. that is exactly what we should Forget about alli- alliteration. <laughs> we I, have I, alliteration is what I'm saying. I think you should definitely somehow work in powerful, because there's got to be a reason you guys are going to be called to do fighting crime or something. 
Hold on, I'm looking at martial arts that begin with a P. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wikipedia list of all martial arts. So we have an adopted child, a like Pakistani a, boy. What if we have what if we have like parachutes? <gasps> Paratroopers. Paratroopers. Oh, paratroopers. Yeah, that's better than going to college. <laughs> Wait, are we in school or are we not? We're parental. Yeah. No, but, you have you have that level of education. Oh, yeah. we're not at PSU. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Helwani is an Indian martial art focused on wrestling and grappling techniques. Uh, as elephants, that is awesome. It, Indian martial Pile art. Driving. Right? Pile driving. Pile driving. Paella. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hot. Have you seen paella dishes? They're huge. They are. Um, hmm. Okay. So we got, we're par- parental pretentious pachyderms with what's the name of the fighting style? Uh, Palawani. Palawani. Paratroopers. Parental pretend, pal- parental paratrooping Palawani pachyderms. We're not pretentious. Well, I mean, we can play pretentious. It doesn't have to be in the title of our comic. Oh book. my god, there's going to be so many plosives to edit out. Close. <laughs> uh, pachyderms. We got the pop filters. Okay. Oh my god! Parent, I'm writing this again. Pop stars. Like, oh, oh, what if shit. we're a, a boy band? We, we are not doing Lancers Rockers on this episode, dude. <laughs> Stop it! Pop stars. <laughs> I never forget a line. Parent, uh, what are we, parental? What? What are we? <laughs> parental <laughs> parachuting. <laughs> Pachyderms. No, no, no. It's parental, parental parachuting Palwani pachyderms. <laughs> uh, and obviously, I know I how to spell it, spell but Palwani. for the folks at home, uh, how would you spell that word that you said? Palwani? <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, P-E-L-H-W-A-N-I. Great. And for the folks at home, how do you spell pachyderms? <laughs> I think it's this. P-H-C-Y-D-E-R-M. Like, yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right. I'm surprised you didn't go with like excellent eclectic elephants or something. Well, that's obviously better. <laughs> we just spent 20 minutes. <laughs> you could have said that. Uh, my physical beauty is four. Parental parachuting Pelwani packages. I love it. From Portland. From Portland. We drive Priuses. <laughs> One foot in each seat. <laughs> like our well, uh, so, <laughs> okay, something you should make a note of with uh, <laughs> this concept is ridiculous. Okay. Is it? Unlike the original. <laughs> okay. So you've all gone to a uh, major university yeah. and uh, you Portland trust State. and yes. like humanity in general. Education is four years of college. What that means is you're going to get three full skill programs, 10 secondary skills. You're going to get 20% bonus on all scholastic skills. 20%? Correct. I'm going to let y'all write this down. Although struggling for financing, at least 2d6 times 500 worth of equipment has been collected. Each. Real quick, because I've never played this system. 20% bonus on the uh, scholastic. scholastic. Thank yes. you. Yeah, yeah. Scholastic skills. I assume that's like knowledge. Book learnings. Knowledge. The exact amount of bioenergy that you're going to get to buy your character's abilities is going to be based on the animal that you have randomly rolled. In this case, elephant. Mm. Oliphant. Rodo. That's a... That's um. Oh, right. I identify as half a lump. Aardvark is the first animal in the book, by the way. Mm. That makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. Now, where's the... Freaking elephant. Here we go. It. Elephant. Great. Elephant starts at size level 20. Okay. Uh, your weight is around 10,000 pounds. And uh, your length is about 10 feet tall. You have zero bio energy. And as an elephant, regardless of size, you get a plus two to your physical strength and a plus three for speed. Oh, okay. My speed is 18. Okay, so that puts my strength at nine and my speed at 40. You're at 18? Damn. Wait, wait. So what was your first roll? 15. For your speed? Yeah. Gotcha. Did anybody roll a 16 or higher on any other stats? Uh, For physical strength, yes. Great. Roll another D6 and add it to it. Oh, 
damn, you're a prodigy. 20 even. Okay. Fast guy, strong guy, and whatever Bastion I'm is. dumb. <laughs> so now at size, but I'm, ugly, uh, but I'm ugly though. <laughs> at least you got that going for you. <laughs> I'm very average. At size 20, you have no bio energy. For every level that you drop down, then you would get another five points of bio energy back. So what what is uh, five feet? That's sixty inches, right? Wait, yes. Wait, wait. Pocket-sized pachyderm. Yeah. Do we all want to be pocket-sized pachyderm? Be pocket-sized pachyderm. Pocket-sized pachyderm. I really don't want to keep size. changing this. Okay. I've, I've no, we're crossed not. out we're so adding. many. <laughs> oh, we're adding? Yeah, we're adding. We we parachute. We could parachute so long when we're pocket-sized. We wouldn't even have to buy parachutes. You could just go to the quarter machine and get the parachute guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, just so you know, if you want no further modifications based on size, so you don't want penalties or bonuses, then you would want to drop down to a size of six. Six is growth level that is across the board, no modifier. But do we all have to be the same size? We do, because we're yeah. a team. And Which, if we don't do anything, we are just elephants who happen to talk and be paralegals, right? And parachutists. I feel like maybe we should be closer to like Babar sized. Mm-hmm. At size six? That would be a six. At size six, you are uh, 48 plus 1d6 inches in height. 48 yeah. plus one. So a little under five feet, basically. Okay. I'm just going to say, five, gonna say five, five feet. That's not pocket size. I mean, for pachyderms. No. I mean, it's pretty small. If I got some Jenkos at home. If, <laughs> if you drop down to size six, you will have 50, 60, 70 bio E to spend. Is that a lot? 70, That's a decent amount. 70 so bio. What happens if we go down to five, let's say? So if you five. go down to five, you'll get five more. But how big are we? But, but what, what's happening to us negatively? You said uh, there was negative. What will happen at size level five is you will lose one point from physical strength and you will only have a base starting SDC of 25. What's SDC? Suck. Uh, structural damage capacity. Oh. It's like bonus hit points. Oh, gotcha. So here's a question. At size level three, you have a base of 30. I, th- I think we should just stick with the six. Well, I was going to say bar. we Sorry, get the extra six. bonus to physical strength anyway. We yeah. could... We could go down two could sizes do it if you and want to still be what we rolled. Just so you know, if you stay at size level 20, uh-huh. no bioe, plus 14 to physical strength, plus 12 to physical endurance, wow. minus 10 to speed, and 80 SDC. What if we just say minus 10 to speed? And what if we just all dumbo drops? <laughs> <laughs> the speed's the one thing I got going. <laughs> He's still the fastest among us. Yeah. Oh my God. Parachute dumbo drops. Just dumbo droppings. As long as yeah, it's, it's like the bear scenario. You only have to be faster than, you know, us. Truth. <laughs> Truth. Uh, we'd be so str- Just three elephants just fucking rampaging the city, fighting crime or whatever. Raising a child. No I like it. I no like psionics. It. No sense. The inability to to use normal weapons. Honestly, yeah. maybe we shouldn't, but it is a fun idea. <laughs> I, I kind of like it. I do too. I, I still vote six, but I will go with the group. I, I I mean, the Prius thing would be hard, as would the parachute. <laughs> Big parachute. We we would need like human handlers to help yep. us. Yeah, we, yeah. And, like they drop us like an Abrams in a war zone. <laughs> yeah. I mean. We'd be sentient, but we couldn't do anything. We can't even like exit our pet. But we have like prehensile. We do. We uh, do. Nostril. Like we, we we can truck. paint badly. We can definitely paint. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so maybe six or five. I'm kind of digging the huge thing. <laughs> We're here Dude, to save you. Okay, Wait, what, what, what if we, what if we split the difference? We then? can't even talk though. You can't even oh. talk. What if what if we go like seven? Also or eight. <laughs> Bio having a prehensile trunk costs ten bio e. Okay, that's some bullshit. Never mind. I, I refuse to not be able to open my Prius. Yeah, let's go five then. Okay. Size five, okay. A little smaller yep. than. So smaller, small yeah. elephants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So size five. So we get how many boe? <laughs> uh, at at uh, I was see. shortening it for everyone at home. So we get eighty plus another five. Is that right? Um. Yeah, with a... So that would be 70, 75. You get 75 by me. And what what would that make our height? Yeah, I need to know. 
Uh, your height would yeah. be uh, medium. Now you be well. Are you considered like at six? You said we were going to be like five 40, feet tall. Yeah, your height six. would actually be based on the long. So you would be thirty six plus three d six inches. Ooh, I'm gonna be so fucking tall. Thirty six plus three d six. Wow, you're not wrong. What? Wow. What 36 is that? Thirty six plus seventeen is a number that so, I definitely can do in my head. Fifty three. Fifty three. Almost okay. five feet tall. <laughs> I'm four feet. Four uh, you would all be the same size. Oh. I, think. Oh. I think. Let me see. Uh, well, no, let's give it a little variety. Is that okay? Well, let's, let's just follow the book. Because we're the still in the same category? Um, of course, variations. Each member of the group gets attributes differently. <gasps> oh, yes. fascinating. Okay, hold on. Tell you what. Let's do the stats over again. Okay. There's a method. Okay. There's a method. <laughs> Let's just do it over again. Okay. So erase, erase all what's these. there. Let's gonna do it over again. Strike through. Okay. What's the method? And let me know if you ever get a 16 or higher. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Just that's all we need to let you know. Yep. This might actually be it. Now 15. Are we re rolling the same way, though? Yeah. You can roll 3d6 and you can put the stats where you want them. Okay. That's a 17. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna put that in. I think I used up all my luck. <laughs> can you can you give me the rundown of what each stat is again? Uh, IQ is intelligence. ME is mental endurance. MA is mental affinity or how friendly and charming you are. Physical strength, physical prowess, physical endurance, physical beauty, speed. I think I'm gonna roll and then figure out where I'm gonna put this stuff. Yeah. Okay. But when I, did you get any 16s? Negative. Well, don't worry too hard about it. I rolled one good, one one stat better, and the rest are shite. All right. Yeah. Where did you put that stat? I am going to put that into, uh, what what's the psychic one? Uh, mental endurance. And that's what I put it in. All right. Roll a d6. You're going to get a bonus to that. Bonus of three. Okay. Everybody else gets a plus three to mental endurance. <gasps> it's plus three? Yep. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime any of you roll a 16 or higher, you get a bonus die. Because you make team characters, everyone else gets the same bonus. Wow. Excellent. And I am a scary boy. Physical strength. And then we add our plus three and plus, or plus two and plus three. Yep. Uh, plus two to physical strength and plus three to speed. Or was it the other way around? No, you got it. Okay. I'm okay with this. Must be based. You have the same background. You can actually have different sizes. So uh, same growth levels. So uh, we each roll a D6 or whatever. 3D6, I 3D6. think it was for inches. Yeah, so whatever you roll, just go ahead and keep that. And anybody else can uh, roll their own or keep it. I got 53 inches. Uh, I'm 48. You're 48. Um, I'll be a little bit. Oh, okay. So <laughs> this time around, I am no longer buff. I am uh, quick and smart. What, okay. What's PP again? With mind bullets. Physical what? Physical prowess. Prowess? Yeah. Oh. What is that? And dexterity. Dexterity. Agility. Gotcha. Okay. Physical That's... strength, uh, physical prowess, physical endurance, uh, mental affinity, mental... Uh... Endurance. M-E yeah, is excuse mental me. endurance. Yeah. M-A is mental affinity. Uh, physical beauty and speed. I am yeah. a mental glass cannon, it seems. Yeah. What's your ME? Eight. No. 20. 20. There you go. That's great. <laughs> okay. So uh, 10, 11, 12. And then how do we add that to height? 36 plus 12. So yep. 48. Oh, so I'm four foot. Four foot. Okay. So you get to 75 bioenergy because you chose that size. Mm hmm. And what uh, at size five, you also get a minus one to your physical strength. Oh. And uh, a base of 25 SDC. What is that and where is that? That's your structural damage capacity. It's those bonus hit points. SDC 25. Okay, now as an elephant, you need to know what you can spend bioenergy on. Mm -hmm. You can spend bioenergy to have a prehensile trunk that serves as an additional partial partial hand. What's the cost of that too? 10. Okay. Can you tell us what we all have to take as a group though? Yeah. As well? Sorry. You, the things that you all have to take as a group would be hands, biped, speech, and looks. 
it says psychic powers as well, but I don't like that. I don't think that makes sense. I that think it would make sense. sense that if you took psychic, you would each have a different one kind of thing. That's more of, you know, a team focus. Yeah. Uh, so you have to get the same hands, biped, speech, and looks. Right now, as an elephant, you get none of that for free. So uh, you Small can get elephants. A, you know, some creatures like apes have partial biped already mm-hmm. and so on and partial hands already. Elephant, you have none of it. So if you wanted to be f- full people hands, full biped, and full speech, total of 30 by OE. I think uh, full speech, definitely. Definitely yeah, full speech. speech. We could go prehensile trunk and skip the hands. Hmm, let's, let's do the Babar, though. Did Babar have hands? He had magic manipulating things that worked like hands on the end of his feet. Isn't that what a trunk is? No. I, feet. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he had just like regular elephant feet. I mean, he hands. like played ball and stuff. Yeah, he like did this thing, right? Yeah. And like, I think, yeah, I think it was like a fist that's somehow like wrapped around. It just like was pasted on it in the animation, yeah. Are we doing if, everything with our face or with our paws? We can, let's see. Are we using weapons that need hands and not trunks? So, okay, we de- it sounds like we definitely want to go. I want a morning star. Sounds like we definitely want to go bipedal. <laughs> yeah, so that's I, 10. I think bipedal is a good one. <laughs> Perfect. And and speech, so that's another 10. Another 10. It's 20. Personally, for experience, I recommend going full hands. Yeah. It just saves you a lot of Let's frustrations. Yeah. I, I, I think it's smart. No, how much is that? Another 10? Another 10. Oh, my God. If you want, you can also go Nickel looks. Otherwise, I don't know. It what might is, be looks means you become more and more human-like in your appearance. Oh. But if you want full elephant face, then... Just leave it. I'm okay with full elephant face. Full elephant face. Yes. You want to look like an elephant. You want to know how I paid through college with my elephant face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do as okay. much as I don't. <laughs> All right. So for those... That's 30. Pedal speech and hands, we get down 30. 30. So now we have 45 left. All right. Correct. Now, there's these are some elephant-specific options that you can choose. Also as a group? Yep. Okay. Tusks. Well, I would say that you probably don't have to pick these as a group. Simply because it would make sense for you to have a little bit of variation in what you can do. Right. So like one of you could be, I have the tusks. Someone else could be, I have the prehensile trunk. And then someone else could be, I have the advanced hearing and the thick skin. Ooh. How much are each of those? Tusks are 10. Prehensile trunk, 10. Who's strongest? Who's and advanced hearing is five. Thick skin is also five. I'm I, thinking the hearing and thick skin. My strength uh, is seven. Oh, I mean, my, mine is six. My wow. physical strength is 13, but I also so have 20 mental one. endurance. One. What the hell? Uh, tusks is just a, a weapon, yep. right? And it implies that you're like the macho. Yeah, but, I'm, but I'm also the psychic one. It's weird. Uh, yeah. Okay. Muscle so, wizard. So am I going to go prehensile uh, trunk if you want? Well, I feel like that's going to not be as helpful for me. Only because I got mind bullets. Telekinesis about that power gamer friend. Yeah, I, you know, I, I just don't want to be a power gamer, right? I could go with the with the tusks and the thick skin. And thank you, little bugger, isn't he? I mean, if if that's what we're doing, <laughs> talk to uh, you. I was hoping for. The thick skin. You can, also, you can also have thick, thick skin. skin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'll go tusks and thick skin. So that's fifteen. Yep. Uh, and trunk. Did you want the trunk, Matthew? Thought you were I was going to go for ears. Uh, advanced hearing is five. Mm. Five points. Okay. Let me. I'll. I'll take the prehensile trunk. I'm going to get rid of the hearing. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Did you already have that? Yeah, but that's fine. Because uh, I'm actually excited to have it. I thought you two would be <laughs> fighting over it, but I'm just going to take it. Yeah, we can double go. up too. Like, you, yeah, yeah, totally. I know but, we can, but at the same time, it's kind of fun to have. Right, I agree. Okay, okay. now spending the rest of your bio energy. So that's I'm at 45 spent. So I got 30. Okay. Plus, I can. What's get a What's really a page weird. number for where you're at? It's only 114, and I can't find I it. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's based on the. Okay, here it is. It's on the the elephant page, right? Yeah. So, um, what does thick oh, the skin specifically give us? Is it like more armor, or does it increase a stat? 
Let's see, psionic section. Let's take a look. Yeah, you should just know that your prehensile trunk is long enough to touch the ground without bending. Not just the ground. <laughs> yeah, where, what page are you on that has the mutations? And stuff? 37. Uh, yes, 37 is where the elephant is. I'm trying to find the cost of psionics because those are the, the main yeah. things here. Oh, yeah. The psionic costs are at the end of the psionic powers. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Uh, the psionic powers. We have our animal control, animal speech, biomanipulation, detect psionics, hypnotic suggestion, mind trap, <laughs> uh, mind block, see aura, sixth sense, and telepathic transmission. Is that everything that we would use bioenergy on or is there more other than psionics? See, that is a good question. I'm wondering if there's a way to spend more. You know? Yeah, because I'm trying to think, like, if we all have psionics, then it's kind of, like, a bit more. We could take animal control and... Because you can only command your own type. So this would uh, be very handy at yes. a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> the, it appears that's all you spend it on. Either what? the stuff for your animal or... um. Okay. So well, back yeah. to the physical stuff. Yeah, back to the physical <laughs> stuff, right? So we all have the trunk. We all have the dust. <laughs> yeah, what all... page? What page is psionics? Uh, psionics are right before twenty six. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> well, okay. So I have a huge. I got twenty mental endurance. So if I have, if that's something that I like should roll, like can roll, then I do want some psionic attacks. What's mind block? Mind block means that no one can use telepathy, empathy, empathic, or anything on you. Okay. Okay. Man, these are expensive. Yeah, but but you never have to to spend points on them going forward. They're powers you can just use. Gotcha. They are expensive if that's the way you want to go. Well, I feel like having a 20 in mental endurance is, is a waste if I don't have something. Oh, each biomanipulation is a different cost. Yeah, each one's its, its own power. So cost pain is 20 points, blind someone is 20 points, and so on. Wow. I'm going to get the Spidey Sense one. Oh, yeah. Six cents? Yeah. You know, I'm going to get Hypnotic Suggestion. Honestly, like with the 20, I feel like I'm going to be taking over everyone. Looking at uh, bio manipulation. Which version? It's a good question. Deafness, pain, and stun, you Between say? Between deafness, pain, and stun. There Apparently we we're still recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen is I edit this and trim out a lot of the stuff so it sounds like we're moving quicker than we do. Right. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got that shit. I get that shit. Okay, I got it. What you got? I am bipedal. I have the power of speech. I have hands. I have advanced hearing, a sixth sense, a trunk, tusks, and thick skin. Okay. And have you spent all of your points? I have spent every last one. There you go. And which powers did you pick? Psychic? Oh, six cents. I only have a spiny sense. Yeah. Okay. I all am right. not, I am so weak. I am the smallest, weakest <laughs> pachyderm. I am not fighting a damn thing. I like it. You're the danger sense person. Yeah. And you've got the good hearing. I am the canary in a cage. Yes. There you go. I'm going to take animal control and animal speech. Ooh, okay. You're the, the big buff animal controller. I like it. And that's all my points. I'm a real weird dude. <laughs> yeah, goodness. I went with uh, pain, psionic. That's awesome. It's actually kind of fucking creepy. It's awful, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's the Raphael one. Here. Over here. Uh, so I still have points. That's How many 10, points? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I saw 15. Ooh. Uh, is it just psionics or is there like other stuff I can look at? That's it. Just the psionics? Yeah. You have 15, you said? You have 15 left? Yeah. I mean, you if could you use like mind block. You could, you could either get or... psionics or, you know, it could be interesting for you to have been uh, a slightly separate, slightly to mu have mutated slightly differently and just be bigger. Is that cool with everyone? I'm okay. If you're one size up. Sure. Yeah. Well, you would for 15 points. Yeah. You could go up three sizes. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, if you went up three sizes, you'd actually get uh, a plus two to physical strength. You'd have a base SDC of 35. And then you would be 60 plus 1d6 inches in height. 
sorry, no, bigger than that. You would be 60 plus 3d6 inches in height. Yeah, we're just doing that. We'll bring more. <laughs> so you're the big softy. You're 71 <laughs> inches tall. <laughs> Not tall for an elephant, but tall for us. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. that's almost six foot. Almost. Yeah, it's five foot 11. That's taller than me. above the average <laughs> American male. <laughs> yeah, but hey, you know, additional two points of physical strength, additional SCC. So, oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Did you get the tough skin? Nope. Okay. So this actually makes up for that pretty good. There you go. Nice. Okay. Next go. would be determining your skills. Okay. So uh, when you when you get skills, it's basically broken down by scholastic programs. All the skills listed under the program heading are known to you. And this starts on page 17. Thank you. Espionage skills are separate. Only specialized training can get you that. And you only get one hand-to-hand skill. Uh, None of you will have master's level of education. So you cannot get medical doctor. There are special notes, restrictions on page 17 if you want to know them. But uh, everybody gets automatic skills that start on page 17. So math, read, write, native language. Okay. And then you get... Each, I think you each pick a skill program. A skill program. You mean like on page 18, like computer programming or, or something like that? Yeah. Sorry, where does it say where we get the, like our innate uh, uh, skills? Oh. Yeah, page uh, 17 at the bottom. And as we're all in college, we take the scholastic track? You do. Pretty much anything is considered a scholastic skill. Oh. Yeah. There are secondary skills as well. The bonuses that you get for scholastic skills do not apply to secondary skills. Secondary skills are like things you picked up on your own. So you each get four skill programs, I believe, and 10 secondary. It says three skills, if this is the same that we were talking about. Oh, no, 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 no. 10 secondary. Uh, Was it only three? I thought it was four. Here we go. Uh, No, yeah, three skill programs and 10 secondary skills. There you go. Well, I'm going to take an ancient weapon. Uh, for my weapon proficiency, first things first. We need, this is the most important part because we need this to figure is, out. Yeah, why are we worried about what one? we know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, duh. <laughs> okay. Also, are we going with the surfer motif, or do you want to go like mid eighties? You know, because I'm not, I'm not a cowabunga kind of guy. I Here's was thinking thing. more. Uh, what if, what if you each fight only with thrown weapons? So one of you throws <laughs> knives, one of you chucks spears, and one of you hurls grenades. <laughs> I am I'm not. Okay. I am not. Those spe- grenades. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What if you well don't want me to do grenades now, do you, NPC? <laughs> well, let's think about this logically. We're we're mutated pachyderms. Yes. We have a child, a Pakistani uh uh prepubescent. Right. <laughs> uh <laughs> that that we watch. Um and and we've been to college. So like, you know, we're we're professional adults, you know. Now we get called on adventure by the mayor of by Portland, the, call of <laughs> the mayor of Portland on our red phone or whatever, and, uh, and the max is dangling over <laughs> yeah, over the sky bridge, <laughs> over the I five. But what what weapons would we have learned in that? Like learn to use. Okay, so it's Portland. I'm thinking it's more like fire staffs and boo gangs and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Uh, okay, maybe I'll have like a fire axe. And is that? <laughs> no, I was thinking more like uh like oh, burlesque show oh, weapons. Oh, like you know, a it's, it's Portland. Yeah, I go what you're saying like, like a pachyderm with man. poi and I got boo you. gang staffs and stuff like that. I got you. Yeah, we all know how to, how to dance boy. with our weaponry. <laughs> Y'all got your skills picked out? Yeah, no. I fight with a yo-yo. They're, they have been discussing I figuring, fight with a out, unicycle. <laughs> figuring out who's going to be specialized in what. So it's going to be three of you mm. and, you know, having each of you pick like a weapon or something. But Bassam also made the point that you do have a Pakistani prepubescent child that you're watching. I mean, that child dies 10 minutes in the campaign then it's not really a problem right that's true just saying it's true it does free up our options well okay <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and say that one of my skills a, we all want we need a tragic something to get us going right that's true so how many how many skills do we get to pick so you get three skills three and then skill... 10 secondary skills which are on a different page you yes. get three skill programs 
Oh, and then we pick 10 from within those programs? Uh, no, the, the, the 10 are separate. So if you t- start on page uh, 18, okay. you see skill programs such as communications program, mm-hmm. computer program, electrical program, medical program, and so on. Okay. You pick three of those. So you could take you could take the electrical program and get all four of those skills. You could take the communications program and get all of those skills. And then you can be like, you know what? I'm also going to take science program and then you get those skills. Gotcha. Okay. Or Mm -hmm. you could take physical program three times and just be like, all I'm going to do is ninja. I was going to say weapon proficiency is a program on here, right? It is. Yes. Well, I definitely want that. How would it work if you take the same one more than once? That you just basically, uh, if it's one of those that's like select X, then you just select it again. So if you take physical, then you get four physical skills. And if you take it again, you get four more physical skills. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to go. And then you pick 10 secondary skills. Now, the main thing about secondary skills is there's a limited list that you can choose from. If you turn to page 19, it shows you the limited list. So think about what do you want your throwaway skills to be? If there are physical skills on there, you know, for example, you could spend two secondary skills and get hand-to-hand martial arts. Okay. So that means you don't have to spend your skill program getting it. Or you could buy prowl and running and swimming and bodybuilding and get some basic bonuses to your character as secondary skill. Take boxing. I, I was going to say, yeah, if I take... take gymnastics. <laughs> so so what, are, what I'm thinking I understand is if I take weapon proficiency, I get to just choose three weapons that yep. I'm proficient in. Correct. Does it have to be ancient or modern? What does it say? It says weapon proficiency, WP ancient weapons program. Select three. Select three. All right. Well, I'm going to do a chain. I'm going to be proficient with chain. I'm going to be proficient. And that's all that counts as one. One skill. And of- then three secondary skills. Ye- no. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's confusing because I'm like, I am numbers, confused. numbers, numbers. Okay. So if you were to take WP, uh, you were to take the weapon proficiency mm-hmm. program. You then get three free weapon proficiencies of your choice. Okay. Whatever's on this list. What? Whatever's on the list. Yeah. The weapon proficiencies start on page 24. Oh. They would be oh. ancient. Not these so. down here? Well, you can see their full descriptions on page 24. Oh, okay. But yes, they do. Uh, what you're looking at right there at the bottom left of page 19, that is the full list of everything. Okay. And Boxing the- is a good skill to get. Just so you know. How do I? So if I, get, you, I choose physical. If you get a physical program. Okay. And then I choose four from that list. Yeah. My recommendations for that then would be to spend it on skills that give you percentage percentages. Here's how to min-max it. All of you are starting with plus 20% to all of your scholastic skills. Mm. And scholastic ones, like those 10 that you get later, they don't get that bonus. The only ones that get the bonus are the ones that you pick from these three programs. Okay. So if you're going to take a physical skill, try to take ones that have percentages. Examples would be Prowl mm-hmm. is a percentage skill. So you'd get 20% on top of whatever is there. Okay. Uh, swimming is a percentage skill. Climbing is a percentage skill. They don't necessarily give you physical skill bonuses, how but do you know which ones are percentage based? I've just played a lot of Palladium yeah. games. Oh, yeah. I, think, I think they're listed further <laughs> in the a, book. This is a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This one, that one. Acrobatics is one yeah. that gives you a lot of percentages. So, question: When I go, so I have physical. I'm choosing boxing prowl. I can pick two more. I'm definitely taking acrobatics. Yeah, acrobatics is a good one to get, and gymnastics, especially since I have high PP. Yeah, I'm going acrobatics and gymnastics. Can I? Should I? Like if I get hand to hand, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, sorry, if I get hand to hand, I can go hand to hand, basic and expert. Oh, you can only ever take one hand to hand skill. Oh, basic okay. is so they're not like stages. It, it stacks. Yeah, and you're spending secondary skills to move it up. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it'd be one. So I can pick hand to hand, and then just, and that's only one, and then I can use my secondary skills to boost it. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. Yes. Uh, so. If you look at the secondary skill list mm-hmm. on page bottom of right, page 19, yes. you'll see that hand-to-hand martial arts is there. Yes. If 
you don't want to spend one of your scholastic skills on hand to hand. You can instead spend it out of your secondary skills. I recommend doing that. Okay. So should I so what I'm saying is I so I don't get hand to hand basic at all. Don't worry about it. Got it. Yep. Okay. Forget it exists. All right. Well, I'm going to get bodybuilding. Uh, bodybuilding is one to get as a secondary skill. I promise you. Okay. Its bonuses are so small gotcha. that you don't want to waste a scholastic slot. Well, I'm trying to skill. figure out what my other two physical things will be. So what? You got uh, boxing, boxing prowl. and prowl. I would go for go acro- wrestling. Oh, wrestling's a good one. It yeah. doesn't give you much in the way of percentages, but you can't take it as a secondary skill. Okay. So it's a good one to take as a as a primary. Cool. And then I'm gonna go. I think I'll just go athletics because I'm. Uh, I'm that athletics is another one that you can take as a secondary skill. Which which ones are percentage based again? Um, percentage. So if you look on if you if you turn to, into the book on page twenty two, mm-hmm. you'll start to see the skill descriptions. Okay. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. Some skills give you just a handful of bonuses. For example, bodybuilding. It's a physical skill. It increases your physical strength by two points, and it gives you 10 more SDC. That's it. Okay. And you can take it as a secondary skill. Compare that to acrobatics, which gives you a balance skill, tightrope skill, climb rope, a climbing skill, a backflip skill, a prowl skill, a bonus to roll with punch and fall, a bonus to strength, a bonus to physical prowess, a bonus to physical endurance, and a bonus to SDC, and a high leap, long leap. All right. So... That one cannot be taken as a secondary skill. Therefore, if you take the physical skills scholastic package, that's one that you might think you want to take. So we were all circus elephants, and that's why we are good in acrobatics? I know how to are balance you asking? on a ball. Are you yeah, telling? I'm, I'm talking backstory now. Yeah. How do we... Well, were we oh. before we were mutants? Do we all have to have the same skills? No. No. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to take physical skills if you don't want to. Got it. But they're good to take if you want yeah. to boost up your stats. So I'm going the, uh, I'm, I, I suppose we can just call it the Donatello track. Go for it. Because <laughs> I am small and wee and weak. So. Okay. So you went science and stuff? I did. Nice. I took uh, electronics, engineering, and mechanical. That's your packages? Yeah. Great. And then physical is my last. Uh. That's four packages. Let me get three. I went mechanical and <laughs> electronics. <laughs> we'll yeah, leave I, the big brains up to the that people would be, we know from college. Yeah, that would have been my mistake. I thought it was four, but it says only three. I'm going to go with... You You got electrical? Yes. I'm thinking I'll go to communications. That one gets a lot of skills, too. Yeah, that's a good one to have. And so I get all of those? In communication? Everything in that, we're at the top of page 18. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, all of them. All right. Can I just write communications? Or should I write these all down? <laughs> Honestly? I don't have a sure. proper sheet. <laughs> Why okay. not? All right. Just put communications program level three plus 20%. That's the easiest thing to do, really. Okay. Yeah. If, if Because it's all percentage skills. Just so level three cool. plus 20%. So I have to take physical. medical... I thought we couldn't take medical. Oh. You can't. Well, okay. You can take the medical program, but you won't can't get medical doctor. doctor. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Medical doctor will only come from a different uh, skill. Gotcha. Still get first aid. But you'll, yeah, you would still get, <laughs> for, yeah, you would get first aid instead, basically. Oh, that's cool. And do I pick four things from that? You get all four of those. Yeah. You get com- criminal, you get criminal science, forensics, paramedic, pathology, and you would get first aid. first aid instead of medical doctor. So, but physical, you only get a certain amount? Yeah, some of them say you only pick a certain amount. Oh. My book's different than yours. Oh. I have a revised edition. Oh. I don't know if it really what? changed. Oh, no, no, no. I see. There's two separate spots. Oh, okay. I'm definitely going to get bodybuilding. So I can just pick 10 of these thingies here. Uh, depending on what you took for your um, hand-to-hand. For my for my weapon proficiency? Hand-to-hand. Oh, wait, I didn't take any hand-to-hand. What do you mean? Right. So look under secondary. Okay. Uh, under physical, 
Mm -hmm. You'll have uh, the hand-to-hand. There's like a a basic expert martial art. And I don't know if this early on they have assassin or not. But It just says basic and martial arts. Okay. So um, at the cost of, I think it's two. Mm -hmm. So two out of the ten, you can have hand-to-hand martial art. Okay. Um, My question now, I said bodybuilding, though. Mm -hmm. I can just get that. Bodybuilding's on the list. Okay. So I can just take any of the 10, essentially. Yeah. Any of the 10 point, the 10 skills that you have, if it's in that list on the right side of page 19, you can spin it and take it. Okay. So I took auto mechanics, computer ops, motorcycling, read sensory instruments, and then personal things. Martial arts and stuff. Uh, computer operation, bodybuilding, running, swimming, pick locks, pilot, helicopter, athletics, and cookery. Nice. What kind of cooking? Fish? No, ma- mainly grass. Okay. Um, <laughs> there, are, there are some some leaf based dishes. I'm I'm really fond of bark. Nice. <laughs> so far, I've got acrobatics, gymnastics, boxing, bodybuilding, uh, and then all the medical minus doctor. I'm trying to figure out a third. Are we allowed to take military? No. I don't think so. I knew espionage was yeah. out. Okay. I'm getting disturbingly good at this. It's the fastest I've ever put together. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a name yet, though. Oh, damn. We need names. I, that's usually what I do first, but we kind of got wrapped up here. I'm thinking... We got wrapped up in the alliteration. Yeah. I'm Polly. <laughs> the pretentious parental vacateur. <laughs> well, here's the thing. They were all named after famous Renaissance artists. Mm-hmm. So we should also choose a thing. We should also choose a we thing. We should also choose a thing. That would be in line. And I'm thinking... Ooh, rappers? 80s rock stars or 80s rappers. How about okay. opera singers? I don't know enough opera singers, but it sounds like it would fit. Pavarotti? Pavarotti Name another. Pavarotti. I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> Literally any. <laughs> hold, no, hold on. Put no, down no, your phone. No, don't, 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 no, no. The three don't tenors. At, Who were the three tenors? That's your oh, phone. That doesn't hold count. Hold on. Three tenors actually might be good, yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. If their names are not stupid. Yeah. Or if their names are really stupid. No middle ground, though. It has to no. be one or the other. Yeah. They can't be yeah. average. Like Ralph? No. Oh, my God. This is this is great. Their names were, well, their last names, were Domingo. Pavarotti and Carreras. Uh, honestly, pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I could take that. <laughs> uh, can I be Domingo? Is that cool? I love that. Yeah, I mean, I, I have no objection. Grandson, what do you think? What? <laughs> <laughs> we we might want to name ourselves after the three tenors. Sure. <laughs> Great. <laughs> So what was it? Do you want Pavarotti or Carreras? I'll take Carreras. Okay. Pavarotti. <laughs> Pavarotti. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm glad that worked out. Yeah, yeah. really it did. And I'm the biggest. So. Good thing we're not a quartet. We don't talk about him. Why not? We don't talk about him. <laughs> oh. So for weapon proficiency, it doesn't say anything about modern, only ancient. Correct. Does that mean I cannot take modern? You can. Some of them you can take as secondary skills. Right, but the ones that aren't there are not classic skills. Yeah. So you'd have to take them as primary. Yep. They're secondary. Yeah, the only ones that you can take as a scholastic skill are the ancient. So I cannot take modern, except for the secondary ones. Correct. This immediately got way more... (laughs) I mean, I gotta gotta be good with a submachine gun, right? (laughs) Like, maybe I'm not good at running, but I can use a submachine gun? I don't know. Running's really useful. I'm going to get rid of art. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the way it always goes? <laughs> Listen, we have our priorities. And mine is a submachine gun. So I'm going weapon proficiency. Like it. <laughs> bow, spear, and staff. Excellent. I took spear as well. I am so small. I took I was chains, like, get back! <laughs> t- chain, staff, and bow. Nice. Chain is my my key. My okay. Key. Well, what do you think? Chain we open on. <laughs> that's, the second that's pretty much it. And yeah, then I that's have character. To, and then I have to pick secondary, though? Oh, yeah. You do have to pick your secondary skills. <laughs> I get 10 of those? You get 10 of them. Yeah. Or eight yeah. if you choose to be hand-to-hand martial arts. Unless that's, like, highly recommended. It's highly recommended. Okay, we'll yeah. do that. 
<laughs> Plus, it's an easy way to spend two points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two points. Boom. Now, I don't know if you have already done so, so but fun. physical skills give you permanent bonuses to your stats. Please tell me these. Uh, if you open the book and look at the skill descriptions. No, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, okay. Each of the physical skills that you took has permanent modifiers that you apply to your character. Okay. You can really buff up like uh, running, I believe, is an additional plus 4d4 to your strength. I'm sorry, to your speed. And they all give SDC bonuses that are totally worth it. So I'm seeing a lot of numbers here, especially like right. on acrobatics. Yeah. Are we actually going to sit down and play this? Am I writing this out? I would, okay, so acrobatics, if you took acrobatics and gymnastics, just don't write down all the special abilities. Mm -hmm. But if they give you, but if they give you bonuses, like plus 10 SDC or plus 1D4 to your physical prowess, roll those and add them. Oh. Or, or, you know what? That's a good point, Matthew. I don't know if we're going to be playing this out. Tell you what, don't worry about making, uh, adding in the bonuses unless you really want to. No, but, we're gonna be in a bi- we're yeah. gonna be in an uneven spot for next time. But if you choose not to, just make a note on your sheet that you have not applied your bonuses. I'm not gonna apply any bonuses right now. Okay, make a note on the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> no bonuses applied. There you go. Yet, because this is gonna be something that we may or may not do, and if we do, I don't know. Perhaps if this episode was interesting enough to people, if they want to see the uh, the three tenors uh, as elephant paratrooper. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're pretentious parental paratrooping pachyderms. Yeah. With the Pakistani kid. And you practice what martial art? Uh, oh, uh, Palwani. Palwani. Thank you. Yeah. Parental parachuting Palwani pachyderms. Yeah. Really just taking that, that, that alliteration as far as you can. We can go further, but yeah, I, I really think we actually that. had to sh- shorten it. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on these characters so far? I mean, I'm excited to see how we act. I mean, I feel like Domingo is very like strong headed, but has like a soft spot for animals mm-hmm. and um, like silent giant kind of thing going on. Which I'm, which I'm really excited to explore. Definitely takes care of his phys- I feel like he's very um, Plato esque, where he's like, if you want a strong mind, you must have a strong body. Like your, your physical and mental is tied together in that way. And then what also about, animals. What about Pavarotti over there? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very large. Uh, <laughs> I think that I'm probably a bit of a softy. I uh, am really into. <laughs> criminal tv shows <laughs> you've watched a lot of csi yeah so i've learned a lot about some shit i can fly any type of airplane and i can swim both of those seemed really good for parachuters <laughs> yeah i'm good i can shoot a rifle bow spear and staff what is what are, what's Pavarotti's hopes and dreams like hopes and dreams i think i would have to tell you that as we play i think that's yeah. fair all right Carreras. i am a a very small small elephant uh with a very large spear i am uh trunked tusked and uh i have a huge backpack filled with engineering crap and whatever 80s equivalent of a laptop there is <laughs> a big cell phone <laughs> yeah i i have the finest brick known to man my my motivations include breaking bad people's stuff so that I can scavenge stuff out of it to build stuff. Okay, I like it. Great. Well, I don't know where we're going to be going with this, but we have a an elephant paratrooper group based in the off room. Of- oh, <laughs> small, medium, and large. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> Good. This one was just right. <laughs> nice. This is cool. Yeah, uh, it's it's an interesting system. I the scholastic approach to skills is something that's really only done, I think, in this game and Heroes Unlimited. Oh, and there's a cat. Hey, cat. Mm-hmm. So that's Kikuchio, Mister Kitty Pants, as I call him. Those are kind of pants. Uh, anyway, the the scholastic approach where they they have you pick skill packages instead of individual skills. I like that actually. Yeah, yeah it's, it's fascinating. It's an interesting approach. I think I've only ever experienced it again. In Heroes Unlimited, 
which did the same thing, but it also had like levels upon levels and complex tables of figuring out your education. This, this one just feels had like that one page. Yeah, this one feels much more like, like okay, if you're good at this stuff, you you're good at all of this yeah. stuff, and you get a few of those. And then the secondaries are very much like hobby, like almost yeah. on the side. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll go to the shooting range and I'll learn how to use a submachine gun. Sure, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, I didn't really pick it up myself, but uh, my I redneck neighbor had one. And he let school. me shoot it a few times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any of the scholastic skills that you get are going to be at level three plus 20%. You don't necessarily need to go and write down all the skill modifiers. It's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that shit. Let me tell you my character skill progression. Oh, dear God. Dying a fire. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Don't do that. Drown. <laughs> <laughs> While on fire. <laughs> the top of the pool is on fire. Oh, I'm thinking a submarine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Covered in uh, sodium. Now that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles character creation, working with the revised edition from 1986. Good session zero, guys. Yeah. I'm excited to uh, get a full packet with like the backstory and the lore that we need to know about this world that you're creating mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. well as like our character motivations. I'm going to, I've already started writing my 30 page backstory and, and maps, maps. Yeah. Maps. Okay. See what I can scavenge from uh unearthed CIA <laughs> documents from the 1980s. <laughs> yeah. Where would they have? Actually, I think that's about right. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We're on special missions in Portland. <laughs> Well, I mean, it lends itself. Do we live in the Shanghai tunnels, or I mean, uh, that's literally in my like my under, campaign. That's where the, the BBEG was. Yeah, elephants in the tunnels. <laughs> yeah, instead of the sewers. Yeah, that's great. Oh, I love it. Yeah, we just have to like carefully step over all the skulls and bones. No, wait, wait. And we're on top of Big Pink, and we parachute off to any part of the city. Oh, that what needs us? What if we're on the <laughs> Wells Fargo Tower? <laughs> we just. <laughs> uh, what is it called when you jump off a building? It's not parachuting. It's um base jumping. Thank you. Yep. We so badger not badgers. We live at OA, OA, OHSU and we slide down the the, the overhead with, oh, yeah. with our trunks. Yeah. Oh. Ow. We're like attached to the right. uh, What if we're just holding on to the to Let's the, just hold on. Yeah. I didn't take thick skin. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah. I'm yeah. just going to wait for the tram. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to ride in the tram versus underneath it. Yeah, I have yeah. a pass. Uh, I got rid of my weapon proficiency and I took advanced piloting. Awesome. Maybe we just live in a blimp. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. You say that. You can say that anything. <laughs> what if we just live in a blimp? Just insert something. <laughs> We what live you... in the old railroad car down by Omsi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What oh, if man, we live in the up... submarine that's on display outside Omsi? I got to look up maps of 1980s Portland. We're essentially... Why are we almost... 1980s? I don't know. Y'all keep setting the 80s, so... People keep saying the 80s. I think you said the 80s. No, he said the 80s. Uh, I, don't uh, think I think, so. I think you're projecting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking modern stuff until you're like, I can rebuild anything in the 1980s. It's like, excuse oh, me, we're, we're, excuse oh, hello, me you sir, we're trying to gaslight you, if you don't mind. <laughs> nice butthole. <laughs> Tight. Nathaniel, nice butthole. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, as the cat shows his goods to everybody at the table, Let's go ahead and close this out. <laughs> uh, this is the Gooder Boys doing a character creation session following uh, another recording. I mean, on my other show, Biker Stice and Bars, we will you know, record a few episodes, be good and tanked, and then try and work our way through the character creation system of a random game I pull off my shelf. How does that go? It's usually fucking hilarious. Okay. <laughs> so I might actually cross promote this and uh, release this on that feed, too. Because it kind of fits the theme, you know. Yeah. But hey, anyway, we've been joined with Bassam and Cranny from the Turtle Power Pod to long recurring cat. Stop it. <laughs> go, go away. Two long recurring cats. <laughs> long They're recurring long annoying recurring cats. cats. Uh, no, friends of ours who have joined us several times and uh, hopefully several more. Yeah, especially for session one, right? Yeah. Thanks Thank for coming out, guys. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for my having pleasure. Us. Yeah, absolutely. It was mm -hmm. a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you for my pleasure. Oh, now it's my turn. Thank you, <laughs> kitten. <laughs>
Cat butthole. Yay. <laughs> Good night, y'all. I'm excited about Domingo. If I'm being real, Domingo, I'm all about him. Yeah, I could play this. Honestly. Yeah, for I mean, sure. I, I, and I think the fans want it. And that's really what we're here for, wouldn't Who you say? Who cares about what we want? We want what the fans want. Well, that's actually good. Let's see what the fans say. If you're listening to this and you want to hear us play through some kind of off-the-cuff Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles-inspired parental paratrooping Palawani. Pachyderm. All, all, all I yeah. want is our fans to want me. They already do, bud. Tell me. <laughs> yes. In the comment section below. In the comment section, please <laughs> say that you want uh, Let us know what you think about it. If you want to hear it, maybe we'll make it happen. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to The Glitter Boys, a Palladium Books fan podcast. Glitter Boys, Rifts, the Megaverse, and all other such topics are the property of Kevin Sambita and Palladium Books. Please buy all their stuff and help keep them in print and making more games. You can order directly at palladiumbooks.com and their entire catalog is available digitally at Drive Through RPG as well. Our opening music is 8-Bit Bass and Lead by Furby Guy from freesound.org. This closing music is Caravana by Philip Gross, available at freemusicarchive.org. All sound effects used are self-made or acquired via Creative Commons Zero License. If you like what you have heard, find us on Twitter and Facebook as The Glitter Boys. That's B-O-I-S. And check us out online at breakfastpuppies.com slash glitterboys. And also join us on the Breakfast Puppies Network Discord at breakfastpuppies.com slash discord. And if you want to help us out, please spread the word and help us build a community. Thanks again for listening. We'll catch you next time. Now, we all agree what the meat vibration means, but people from different places don't understand what the meat vibration means. They have different meat vibration word meanings. My meat vibration word meanings are exclusively used here. He's got the meat vibrations. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> are we doing this? Oh, yeah, we're going to do this. Barf. If I could just do his session zero. Right. Ralph. I've committed to a four-year campaign on the fly. <laughs>